All right, today Heather gets some lights in the pantry. It's been a long time coming. I've already drilled a hole up there. I took the piece of board off here. It was just OSB here. We haven't even uh, insulated in here, but we plan on putting uh, four inch insulation in here before we button everything up too much. We have insulated all of the interior walls here, as well as the external walls to keep the uh, temperature regulated throughout the house easier because sometimes it gets just too hot in the rooms in the winter so it's nice to be able to close off one room and keep it somewhat livable in there in the winter. Anyways I got that hole drilled right up there. I don't know my fingers face in the right place hopefully. I got one up there and then I got one here going to the basement and I made a big mess on the floor but we do have a little vacuum cleaner there we're going to go at it. And the next thing I have to do, I remove that old light fixture I had here. It was just 12 volt LEDs. I'm going to go up in the attic. First, I'm gonna measure over from this wall over. I'm gonna measure from the end over. And I am going to get a rough position of where that goes. And then I will drill a hole down from the top using my six inch, five or six inch hole saw and then you'll see how I do that up there. I do wear a mask up there because there's insulation up there and the first time I went up there it was a bit uh, was a bit sneezy and I was a bit congested. I did these yesterday, these two lights up here, I did those in the kitchen and they work just fine. So uh, they're a lot brighter in here now than they used to be. We used to have just 12 volt here and then we're using those uh, LEDs facing up there which is nice and bright but they're they weren't in the ceiling, they were just uh, tripod lights that uh, Bert Skelton sent us quite a while ago. So, But now we're going to have real lights in here. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually just going to take this, I'm going to look at these lights here and I'm going to figure out where I have to move over here because they're not right in line. So I'm guessing about two feet over and I should be pretty darn close. But I am going to take a quick measurement and see where they're going to be. And uh, I'll go up in the attic and see how that goes. So the reason I'm doing some inside work here folks is because it's a little muddy outside to work around so we figured we'd take this opportunity and get some things done in the house that we didn't get a chance to do all winter because we were working outside on the siding. But now we want to get this wrapped up before I close in the gable end. We are going to have a door on the gable end but it's a lot easier to see right now that the whole gable end is open. So once we do the pantry light then we want to put a different one we want to add one in the bedroom and then that'll be all done other than excuse me moving the chimney over when you go in, in the house i want it to the left about maybe three feet so it's in between the bathroom door and the pan pantry door excuse me right now it crowds the bathroom door too much and i don't really like it so it's muddy i'm wearing my shoes because i don't want to wear my big boots up in the attic so i'm going to be very very careful walking through this mud so I don't track too much up in that insulation. So let's go, we'll see. Now the platform has moved a little bit here because the snow has melted so things are on the lean a bit. But I was up here yesterday and everything seemed fine. And with that said, I'll track it again. Yeah, everything seems okay. So I'm gonna get up here. Oh <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. Now, I'll wait till Heather climbs up here. Now, the easiest way I find to stand right here, and I just squirrel my way up in there. So now I know I said it was three and a half feet when I measured that. So three and a half feet in. No, no, I said it was under five, eh? Under five, yes. This way. Under five is, so it's gonna go on. So anywhere under five. Yeah, so I'm going to put it against, let me see here. Right against that ceiling joist. So one, two, three, four. So I just press some buttons here. So the fourth one over there, I can see there's one, two, three, four. So right against there. That gives me around five feet here, so that's good. So I'm gonna pass this back to Heather. Now I'm gonna to have to go way into the depths of the bowels here. So I wanna measure over roughly and see where I am here. So three feet. Three and a half. The inside is going to be. It's 
going to be about this third spot here. Three, did I say three or three? three and I think it was three and a half. Three and a half feet? I thought so. Well, that's good to know. It probably is. So three and a half feet. Well, I know six inches from the outside in is the wall. Okay. Now, like, I could be wrong too, so. No, I think you're right. Six inches. So we're going to go from here, from there. We're going to go three and a half feet. So it's going to be in line with this third, this third, uh, third upright. Huh. And five feet in, like I say, is going to be that fourth one, right? One, two, three, four. It's going to be in here somewhere. Yeah. It's going to be down in there. It's going to be a nice snug fit. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm going to mask up here because, uh, yeah. So, up here I go. I was in here already the other day and it's not too, too bad. You're part monkey. Here. <laughs> Okie dokie. I think now this third one here I said, right? Yes. And then there's something about the fourth one with the other one. Yeah, there. Where's the third one? Is this the third one here? Um, yes. Okay, so I gotta go down in there. Alrighty, no big deal. So... <laughs> yeah. So peel this back. Oh yeah. That'll be good right there. I don't want to compress that at all. Okay. Right here. Right here. How'd it go? Downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> See, the bit fell out. <laughs> oh, the bit fell out. Oh, oh, go get it. <laughs> no, it's drilled. That's okay. Oh, okay. What I need though, I'm gonna have to cut a piece of one inch. Okay. 20 inches long. And then I will attach it up here. Now I gotta try to get out of here again. Do you want me to grab that stuff? Yeah, it's okay. I gotta turn around here somewhere. Wow. My body don't move this way anymore at my age. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the camera. Look, I'm trying to get I got it. I got it. You just run the camera. Okay. So piece of one inch at 20 inches. So watch that battery don't come undone or the drill will fall. Dude. Oh, okay. You're quite the limber guy, to be honest. I don't know. I don't think a lot of people would be able to get in there. You okay? Oh yeah. Doing great. <laughs> Sarcasm or? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's in there. So. Okay. 
We're gonna run this in, and then I'm going to attach that light fixture. Okay, let's go down here. You pass me the camera here in a second. Okay. Here we go. I'll let you down here. Changing the focus on everything here. Okay. Yeah, I'll get you to hold that again. Okay. I gotta plug in the cord. Can you cut me a piece? 20 inches? 20 inches is right there. I'll plug in the cord here. Sure. Alrighty. 20 inches? Yeah, you'll need the measuring tape. I already had a piece there I used yesterday when you were gone. Okay. <clears throat> it's getting more firm there, isn't it? It is getting a little better for sure. And even after the rain, I'm surprised to be well, honest. Well, the rain, for some reason, the rain ends up, I find it does kind of dry it out a bit. Yeah, it's strange how. So it could be over 20 inches. It doesn't have to be exact. Just cut it roughly. Watch that tape measure don't fall. I can move it in more behind it. Don't let the other piece fall in the mud. We're going to use it later. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Okay, that piece of board will go right here. Okay. Now we take this guy in. Okay. Okay. I need the camera. Sorry, babe. I'll take this. We're going to take this guy in. We're going to change it for a different one. Now we need the driver. Okay. Yeah, it's dry. Lost. The ground's firming up, I should say. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a better. And that's where we went. We hit it pretty much exactly where I wanted it, right beside the uh, truss up there is where I wanted it. But I could see that up there, and I wanted that exactly where it went. So I need this bit. I need this driver. We're gonna go up there and we're gonna do some work. Alrighty. Well, I went up in the attic. <clears throat> I didn't show you, but I went up there and I put a piece of board across the strapping. So now it's just a matter of. Uh, opening this up right here. I think I'm gonna have the wire coming in this side here. Uh, this right here. Well, pliers aren't looking so good, are they? They're all kind of bent. There we go. We're good for washers. Save those. So I'll pull the wire through here and I left lots up in there too. So if I ever need more and I haven't even cut it yet, there's still lots in case I need it. But I am gonna pull what I need through here. And it'll be right there like that. And that is going to go up in here somehow. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I remember that from yesterday. I want to bend this over here. These are not necessary for what I'm doing. It's a guide on how far you push them up through there. There. Then I'm gonna need a hammer. I found my hammer. This is a fairly tight fit. I should have wiggled that uh, drill bit around in there maybe. There, once it's up in there, it's fine. Just to get it started, that is the problem. Now, this should pull it right up. But I want to go evenly. I can still pull that through more if I need it. Because there's still lots of room up in there. So that's good. Okay, I'm gonna back this out here. Boom. Don't lose that downstairs. Get on my rumble knife.
we go. That's going to get tightened right up there. Tighten the clamp up. Goes nowhere. Strip me back a bit of wire here. around like so like so and this here I don't want to do it too much but I want to make sure there's enough room to get that wire wrapped and again you wrap these I don't think I said this. I think I said this lots before but anyways you always wrap these wires the way it's going to get tightened up because if you don't It'll just pop out when you turn that screw if it's wrapped the wrong way. Beauty. Tighten up the ground. That's the, uh, I don't know what you call it, static ground, bare ground. So you don't get a shock if, you're, if the, the carpet's dry and your feet's dry. So this one here takes this small bit right here I think that's a small one right yes it is okay now you see <clears throat> it's hard to see probably right but anyways you got a brass one and you got I a can't silver see anything now with the light on it is that okay. better that's bad much better yeah. okay so the top one's brass bottom one's silver <coughs> excuse me insulation so North America here, the black for just a single light switch. The black goes on the brass, so black on brass, white goes on the silver. So black on brass, white on silver. Pretty easy to remember. Now, let's get this hooked up. We're gonna do it exactly the way, again, that it would thread. So we're not undoing the wire when you tighten it up. I just let it hang like that. That's all I do. I don't over tighten them either because you can bust them. There, done. That's the brass one. Here's the silver one. Again, black on brass, white on silver. Very simple. Wrap it the same way the screw tightens or else you're gonna have problems when you go to tighten it up. I'm gonna loosen that off a bit here. The loop's a little large here on this one. It could have been a little smaller. Uh, I'll just pinch that in with my fingers a bit. There we go. That's good now. Beauty. There we go, that's done. Tucked up in there nicely. <clears throat> I really should do the far side first because I can't see it. I think that's a small one, I'm not sure. It might not be. tight either because you will bust me. That's good. Now I need a bulb. I'll get a bulb and I will be right back. I couldn't find a really bright light but we're going to get some hundred waters for in here. But for now that'll do. <clears throat> now I have to measure up from here. To measure up from here because the other lights are around 50 and a half inches so about here right about here is a good spot for it I turn that down a little bright it's pretty bright so about here that's okay. where i'm going to do it i want to straighten this out to the best i can and i want to leave enough so i can staple it as well And 
to leave a little extra in there just in case something ever happens. I can always tuck it in the wall a bit. We don't not wiring this to code because <coughs> we don't we're not hooked to the grid, but I want it to be close enough. I'm gonna come down about I would say about here. There we go. So that'll leave me a little bit extra in there, not too much. I can put a little loop in it somewhere about here. You know, I'm not advising you to do this at home either. Like I say, I don't you don't need to follow the same strict rules here. So I'm saying there. So now I need to find myself a light box. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay. I scrounged up a, a light switch box here. I'm gonna go about there. Hmm. I'm gonna put this right in here like this here. That seem about right for a light switch for you. So. Yeah. It's the same as the other ones, I'm pretty sure. So, Looks good to one. Me. Well, we'll check it. Uh, I measured it already, and it seemed okay. But we'll check it again. Hmm. That was tight. Need that extension in there anymore. I do love those extensions. Now I'm gonna strip this wire back a little bit here. Probably about to here. Two white ones get moretted together. The one that runs from the panel box and the one that runs down from the light. Oh, I dropped that one. So the two runs here. So the two white ones they get moretted together. The bare one goes on. Now I don't have any clamps in here. I gotta find some clamps for this too because this was a used box I had. So I'm just gonna tighten this up a bit in here. Just like so. <coughs> Excuse me. So exactly sure which way these things go. This here will get wrapped around here like so. That. Now do I have the big one in there or the little one? No, I got the big one. to run that wire up from the bottom and again like I say the white one on the one that runs from the panel box to this one gets tied together with a moret a Mars connector which is one of these babies the two whites and then the other black one gets hooked onto here and then the ground gets wrapped around the back there to a screw inside there so I'm going to go downstairs and I'm gonna pass this wire up together so We'll be back in a minute. It's coming up great. Can you hold the flashlight down the hole? Sure. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, I got it. Oh, you just. It fell back down? Yeah. I got it. Okay, pull it up. All the way to the light switch. Okay. How much do you want extra? Oh, I can grab that. If you hold it, I can do it. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I gotta take this bottom little plug thing out of here. Hmm. 
another washer. You can hear it rattling down there on the on the floor. Okay. So I'm gonna strip some of that back. About to here probably. I'm no electrician folks. I'm no carpenter. I'm just getting it done is all I'm doing. Nowhere will I ever tell you this is the way to do it. This is the way I do it. Take a little more off that. I know you're supposed to leave between six and eight inches, I think, in the box. I think six. And if you have more than two wires coming in, you want the deeper box. And the regulations have changed so much. Now, this is not United States regulations. This is Ontario, Canada regulations. I know they're different, so. So again, make sure that wire wraps the same way the screw tightens up or it'll just unthread that. It'll just unthread that uh, wire on you. Now this here gets ran over to here and that white is actually probably a little too long. I don't want it touching anything inside that box. A lot of people twist these together. I find them rats twist them together pretty good anyways once you put them together because I'll show you. Kind of twisted it anyways, didn't it? Yep, sure did. Now I will hook up the static here and I'll get everything pushed back in here. We'll be right back, folks. All right, so it's hooked up into the basement, but it's not in the panel. We don't have the panel on the wall yet, but we will eventually do that. It's just moretted to basically an extension cord right now and plugged in for now. And I haven't even stapled these up yet. So anyways, well, Heather, shall we try it? Let me see, flip the switch. Boom. Okay, shut her off. And on again. Right on and off. Beauty. How do you like it? I love it. Good, brighter than before, isn't it? Much better. We're gonna get some 100 watt light bulbs on put in here because you can't see with that little guy. It's pretty dim. Yeah. It's still, oh, it's still good though. Yeah. Better than before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that's about it for now. I will get some staples and I'll staple that all together there. And then uh, I'm gonna vacuum that up for Heather unless she does it. Oh, I can vacuum it up and sweep it. I can vacuum this up if you can make some lunch. Okay. And okay. then once that's done, I will uh, go downstairs and I will continue on doing what I was doing.